Today we're going to learn how to use the uh, data modeler. I'm going to start it up. It's a second one here, data modeler. Okay, so starting on page 34, I'm going to create a couple of those entities. Um, we're not interested in relational at the moment, we're interested in the logical. It should be over here on your left. Okay, now I'm going to draw a couple of entities. Like I said, I'm on page 34 of the textbook. I'm drawing a, a window. Customer. Okay, I'm going to draw another window. Order. <clears throat> and I'm only going to do um, um, part of the um, of the, uh, the database that they have uh, shown there, the model. Oops. Okay, now I can move them around by clicking the arrow, and I can move the, the windows around however I want it. Okay, now let's work on making a one-to-many uh, relationship. At the top here, you can see the arrows. This is a many-to-many -many relationship, a one-to-many uh, relationship, and a one-to-one -one relationship here. So let's look at the one to many relationships. Okay, so I, I click the arrow and I'm gonna click once and then let go on order. Okay, so we can see here that it has a one-to-many relationships and right now it says that the um, the relationship is um, you know optional. A customer can have many um, orders. Now let's say for example um, we want to make it non-optional. We can just de-click the um, you know, optional uh, window uh, um, bar here, box, and say OK. OK, now on page 37, and then the rest of the, the, rest of the, the uh, model you can do yourself. This is just a, a very brief introduction. Then on page 37, we can see that uh, a customer entity has uh, multiple attributes here. One is customer ID, customer name, a type, zip code, and years. So I can double click this window again. I can go to attributes. I can add here um, attribute um, properties. So I'm going to say, oops, can't type this morning. Custom, customer ID. Okay. Uh, customer name. Customer zip code and customer years. Okay. Now another thing here is um, customer ID is the uh, identifier here. It's the uh, primary key. So you can click this primary UID, which is you know the equivalent of um, a primary key. I hit apply and you can see it in the little hash uh, tag next to it. Okay, now for uh, orders, I'm going to look at the attributes here. Customer ID is already there because remember we said one to many, it's identifying it. Um, let's also put uh, order, oops, just order number. Order placement date, and then there's a, um, a fulfillment date and uh, order number shipment, um, which I'm not going to I'm not going to type. Okay, so now you can click on uh, order number as the uh, primary um, key. Click OK, <coughs> and I will explain how to do more in class. Thanks.